so what can i say man i got i got a wallet drain <laughs> like there's this is like a weird sensation so i don't even know how to start this like i think the main thing is like if you only listen to this part of the video the only mm-hmm. three things that i learned from this that are super important is one use a ledger mm-hmm. right like like i have a ledger on other things but i didn't set it up on this yet and i was going to get to it but no do it because mm-hmm. i used burners but the way this wallet scam worked it really didn't matter like i had a burner but unless i would have done it like in a whole different way so this is something that i hope people learn from it too is like a burner isn't always enough and three yeah. in web three yeah. things move fast right and joe you know this and we joke about this we'll have like 10 conversations going on on three different platforms with all these different projects and this was just one of those that like this is a total scam but like i you know i'm firing off you know we talk to people all the time and i just this one slipped by i didn't even catch it yeah, I think a great point that goes into this too is like account models are not the same across chains. Yeah. So it's easy to get like caught up in like, oh, well, it's like this on Near or it's like this on ETH. And so you then start applying those same thought processes and assumptions to other chains. And that's why like having something like a ledger is always so important because at least yep. it standardizes some things for you. But at the same time, like it's an easy mistake that people can make because it is a different setup. And so, yeah, I think it's just I think as we go through this, there's a lot of really great lessons here that unfortunately you had to learn the hard way. <laughs> so, I mean, it's kind of wild, but um, yeah. and because I've gotten scammed before. Sure. And, you know, but it was like a different kind of scam. This one was like really long. And like, I didn't like the craziest part about this. I didn't even see it coming. Like I was like, just <laughs> thought I was helping people because like, I've helped other projects. This is what's so cool. And we'll get through this. We'll get, we'll, we'll go yeah. through this so people can see, but, and this isn't like a slam on any single chain. This is like any, this can happen on any chain. So 100%. like this yeah. just happened to be a soul phantom wallet and mm-hmm. in that space, but this was just this time. I mean, it, my first scam was on an ETH wallet. <laughs> so, right. so it has absolutely nothing to do with like the chain. Um, I but I think that. your ledger thing is good. So let's just start. I think maybe do you want to just kind of guide this and I can kind of like add to it, you know, like, or what do you think? <laughs> sure, 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 sure. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so I guess like to give a little context. Um, so I, I think what when I, when you sent me this stuff and you had brought this up to me, a few things really stick out for me as somebody who uh, is reading this kind of, you know, after the fact, right? Like I don't, I think it'd be, it's easy to maybe criticize things post, but I think it's important to really highlight some things that in the moment that pretty much anybody would get caught up in. And this was a really interesting and unique kind of scam that I think you'll probably see more of if we haven't already seen a lot of it already. We don't know how many of these actually happen because people don't always report it. People feel ashamed. People feel embarrassed. They don't talk about it. So sometimes you don't always hear about it. And I feel uh, all those things, but I'm like, <laughs> no, it, like <laughs> you can't do anything. So I'm like, you know what? Screw yeah. it. Let's, if yeah. I can, if I can help one person, if one person watches this and doesn't get wallet drained because of this and they're like, oh, well, I didn't know if you just did a different wallet in Phantom, that doesn't matter. Right. right? Like, that's like important to me because I was like, oh yeah, I made a new wallet. We'd even talked. I was like, oh, I got a burner. It's, I don't really know him that well, but you know, right. And then it didn't matter, which is like yeah. so mind blowing. So let me start off like at first off, keep in mind, I'm I'm firing off Web three emails to a bunch of people, setting up times for other projects, pinging people, reaching out to people. So like someone reaching out this way isn't super outside of my norm. What was right. one area that I should have? I was just moving too fast. Him and I didn't have any. This scammer and I didn't have any connected discords. Didn't even catch it. By the time it had already kind of gone above the fold, by the time we'd already gotten through the, you know? Right. So I think yeah. that's like first thing, if you're ever on Discord, one, I would almost say don't ever accept friend requests. But if you do, make sure you know who they are and that you have shared service. So tip one, Discord, watch out. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a great one. I mean, that's first thing. I mean, so this this is on Discord. This conversation started. And again, I think part, like, like you said, for somebody like you who is constantly communicating with different people, you know, in the ecosystem, um, because of our podcast and everything, uh, in different projects, like it's not out of the norm to have a side conversation with somebody. Totally. And Gouvi, or however you pronounce it, I I don't, it's French, I don't know. Um, we know him casually through other groups. And so, you know, it's not, it's not totally random. It's not like, 
yeah. you know, we have not crossed paths and like, oh, like, why would this project leader come out and reach out to me? It's like, no, no, like, like you know, in the Wooks together before. Yeah, uh, it's not out of the it's not totally out of out of left field. So I, I, I think there is some interesting psychology to begin with there. Yeah. And, and oh. go ahead. I was gonna say, and like just the week prior, Mr. Brown, like I was talking to Lamonkin and he, you know, I got to test out the game and like these things just like happen. Like it's all about uh, jump, jump decks. Like we, you know, it's like anytime mm-hmm. like a project, I, I'm going to change my maybe strategy going forward, but always down to help out. And there's a part in this that I'm like, so like embarrassed about because it's like, I was just like help a scammer. But also I want to shout out one thing real quick, how amazing the community has been. Like I'm wearing my Skelly's hoodie. They couldn't take that. My IRL hoodie still here. <laughs> right, you can't right, right. Pull it, drain my hoodie. But that, that whole community has been off the hook good. Supporting, yeah. helping some people even helping. And I don't expect that at all. Like I'm like web three, this is decentralized. Like once those left right. my wallet, they weren't mine. <laughs> right, right, right. It just left the way I didn't prefer them not to. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's been cool in other groups. And a lot of people have kind of reached out. So it's been really, uh, I appreciate all that. All right, let's yeah. dive into this bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, I think, you know, again, so the initial interaction is not that odd, not that odd. Um, and again, the ask of you in the beginning is really basic. It's like, hey, you know, we want to show you this utility. And again, like you said, because of your position in the ecosystem, this is not out of, out of left field. This is a very normal type of thing that does come up for us um, that we've had multiple times yeah. Uh, before and also i reached out to uh goo i never know how to say his name but I, I reached out to him and he he wrote a really nice thing back and said don't be ashamed like you know these things happen it just takes like a second of dropping your guard for something like this to happen because i wanted him to know to be like hey tell your community like there's a you out there right 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 and the only right. thing i'll say on this first page is that like, i'm like man i just want to help out people this is like such a bummer i'm like yeah definitely i'll help you out don't even need the soul you're gonna give me like <laughs> Like, I'm like telling the scam, like, I don't know. You look back and it's just like so silly. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so now let's move on. Okay, so they asked me to download an app. Now, this is another tip. Just don't download apps ever if anybody ever asked you. Like, I, because this has happened where I've, I've, I've played links. I've, I've downloaded apps for, like, this is not like out of the, this is a bit on the, like, I would say the advanced side. But I didn't yeah. think. But but I looked up Math Wallet, like I looked up stuff, and I was like, oh, it's a totally legit wallet. It's a pretty good wallet. So the wallet, see, so here is I think some of the I guess the brilliance of the scam is that like this part here is actually legit. Like this is a, actually a a regular real thing. Like it's not a fake wallet. The wallet itself here, at, I mean, as we're kind of getting to actually how this all happened, the wallet itself was not the wallet, it's not the drainer. That's not the the math wallet is not the scam. And that I think is what is like kind of smart, like kind of brilliant on the scammer (laughs) part, because like you then it's like, oh, okay, Yeah. Like you said, you looked it up, you know, you asked me about it. Like, okay, I looked at it. Yeah, it's a legit wallet, you know, so just be careful with it. You know, like anything else. Put the Mara in a burner. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think that's really this is a really interesting part where like this is the the con part of the this is the confidence part of the con right of like hey let me make you feel good this is a legit thing yeah this con yeah. is really man i've had a day to digest it and it was so it got me so good that even when my first wallet drained you'll see at the end here i didn't even like i was like oh no <laughs> like when it hit me it was like <laughs> yeah that's a wild feeling anyone who's gotten uh, drained out there or scammed Feel free to shout it out. You know that feeling. Like, that <laughs> right, moment right. was from like, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> is like really fast and wild. Yeah. Hope to never feel it again. So yeah, I download Math Wallet. Super chill. It's easy to do. All right. I send him a screenshot. I the the level of this scam and the level I got hooked in was wild. So you know the, their wallet name is Mario Utility. Choose a password of your choice. So I even choose my own password. It was wasn't like they were like prompting that. So what do you think about this show, this part, or just more of the same? I mean, yeah, just like, again, it's all building up. It's all legit here. Like, like nothing nefarious has happened yet, No, you know, at this part. I even went and grabbed dinner and was like, I'll be back. And then we came back and we did. Uh, oh, wait, that's the. OK, here we go. Oh, OK. I actually took a bigger screenshot to try to get more. So we're kind of just that's the same that we just yeah. had. OK, doing it now. All right. Then we get in here. So let me know if you're ready to proceed. OK, I'm back, you know. 
and all this stuff yeah. kind of happens. Yeah, and then, again, it's it's all of this different stuff of like you know they're gonna have you add a node, and I think it's maybe in the the next screenshot. It's a legit node that they ask you to do. It's on the DevNet of Solana. Like it's not again like we we still haven't run into anything that is not a actual legitimate action. Yeah, and nothing seems sketchy at this point. Even so much, I fell asleep, woke up the next day. I was like, "Hey, you want me to still do it? Like, I'm here to help you out, man." Like, I cannot believe how scam the I writing. Yeah, the writing is good. Like, the writing is like it's not like some oh, yeah. weird, you know. Like, it doesn't feel like, um, you know, where like the language is sketchy. Like, there's no real red flags yet. It, it again, minus like if you had checked oh, if dude. like you had mutual servers. Yep, but that, was... that aside. Like this, this feels like a normal conversation. Like this feels like okay, this is maybe something you would have had with him, with yeah. the real, with the, with the real user. Yeah, I told him, and I, yeah. I tweeted him. I was like, "Hey, yo, I just got a wallet drained by some Virginia." I was like, "Dude, I really thought I was just talking to you for like the last day about helping out Mara Utility." Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, Come like that, that RPC URL, like that's a real. That's like, again on Solana Dev. Like this is nothing is, nothing's wrong at all yet. Yeah, totally. I go yeah. into the dev nets and everything, man. Like this is this is like I was like, oh, this is cool. And the whole time I was like, man, what is this utility going to be? I'm pretty excited yeah. about this. Keep on going. Okay, so now here, Joe, let me know. So now they actually put. So we're on the test net. They put five soul in the test net wallet, and there's like some, you know, there's some back mm -hmm. and forth. Still not wallet drained yet. This is like back nope. and forth transactions, which is like so wild about this. Right. Uh, now we do a quick transaction test. They sent three. So all this stuff works great. You know, like the test that they, the, the make believe test of the scam that I'm doing. Yeah. And keep in mind, like, I think most people never get this far. Cause most, I, I would hope most people like, I, you know, some people are gonna be like, oh, you should have had a ledger, which we can get to that in a bit, but like use a burner, which I did. Uh, why would you even do this? You know, we, we discussed, we do that in the past. And like, honestly, it probably should never gotten this far. Like, I, I think like in the future, I'm going to have to kind of be a bit more you know, it sucks because you have to like choose what you want to be. Like, let's take a second. And I just want like the ethos of Web3. You can be a scammer or you can be someone who's trying to build something good or a variation mm -hmm. in between. Mm -hmm. And I just don't want to be a scammer and I want to like choose to build and I want right. to like help people build. And that is exciting to me. Like when I take my last breath on this earth, I don't want to be a person who scammed people. I want to be a person who sure. made it better. And so it's hard for me. Like that sometimes gets me like scammed. <laughs> You know. But I think, though, in this scenario, like, you know, probably, again, let's let's say somebody was able to to mimic all of the right things. Right. So they, they were in the right same mutual servers. Right. Like, let's say like you had those different connections. Someone played the game really right all the way through. You know, the next step probably would be is like, OK, you know, did we actually ever like record with them? Like, did we actually have contact with them? You know, so do, you know, have I been on video with them or have I been on a call with them? You know, maybe something like this we do as a call together, you know, instead. So that way, you know, if it's the scammer's like, I want to probably jump on a zoom. Right. So yeah, no, totally. Uh, That's a great idea, Joe. That, that is much smarter. I think in the future I'll be like, Hey, if you want to hop on zoom, we can talk through it. Like, yeah. I mean, cause, cause I don't think, cause these, because again, like you said, like as people who are part of this ecosystem in a more visible way, uh, we do get these type of requests to give feedback and to give help. And, you know, and I'm in a ton of different chats on both Discord and Telegram about this type of stuff. Mm. And you know, I don't want to say no to it because I want to help people. But you just have to become more vigilant, I guess, over time. Exactly. I mean, this is one of those things that and, and people have had wall drains. People have reached out and been like been there, man, like, you know, and varying degrees. And it doesn't matter if oh, it's yeah. one soul or a thousand soul or 10,000 soul. Like it, it, it really sucks. It's a terrible feeling. Yeah. And like, look at how good this like when he's even like uh, I send it and he's like, oh, wow, that's almost instant. I was like, wow, man, like from like, you know, throw out the idea that scammers are like bad at writing like this like totally works. Yeah. Well, because again, like it, you continue to feel invested. Yeah, it's what a really is happening. Yeah. And I got hook, line, and sinker. You know, because, and here's the problem, Joe. So here's something that I, I want to point out. Like, so I have a, this is happens over the course of like a day because I have so many other things going on that I never like stopped. Like, I was like editing mm. and then I was like working another job and then I was like doing this and I was doing that. And then, like, you know, I was like half doing this. Right. Which I think was also, it just let my guard down. Yeah. Also, I, 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 absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Too, many, too many conversations. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so now 
great. Be sending one soul to the address below. So I'm sending like I'm doing things for that. Like this is it's like a, it's all big make believe game. I'm like fake sending stuff from a you know I'm sending fake soul to their address. Mm-hmm. Great. And now here's the greatest scam, dude. Here's where like I'm just like fascinated by scams. Yeah. Where it's like at what point do they know they have me? I mean the person there's a team or a person on the back of this that knows they have me. I mean they probably have people around there. To, and they're like, hey guys, come here. You know, there's probably like a center where they do this, you know, like these things are organized yeah. or it's just some rogue person who knows what they're doing. I don't know. It feels a little bit more professional, but I could be wrong. Yeah. 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 But so they're probably like, all right, here's how you do it. Right. And they're probably showing this, like the way you and I are talking this conversation through, they're talking it in the same way, but from the reverse, from the scammer side, they're like, right. all right, get them invested. All right, cool. Notice, see how language that's important. <laughs> they right, might right, right, this right. video to make their scam better. I don't know. But yeah. Then that's the scam right there. Like to send six, well, you know, I just send six soul. So I think it's important though. Go back for a second. So they sent you six soul, right? Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, so here's what happened. So I sent six soul from this address, the, the math wallet. So I was yeah. doing everything within math wallet, the make believe wallet. The real mistake I made is, and it was a burner, and they're like, okay, now. The next procedure, you will withdraw six soul from the math wallet to your own Solana wallet. This is where it's like such a, they got me. Like, so basically it was like, okay, cool. So I'll send six soul from the math wallet to my own Solana wallet. So I sent it, right? And then they go, I go, boom, done. So I sent that to my wallet. So now they have my wallet address. Mm-hmm. They didn't have my wallet address up till then. So boom, that's the, the other address. great. Have you received your wallet? Not get- yet. Oh, that's not right. You should have received it. See, like that's hold on though. But this is see, this, this is, is where this is this was brilliant be, though. Hold on, this is a really because, smart scam. They, they had me because you're never gonna get it because you're on DevNet. I didn't know that. See, that's where like right? if we would have done this together. You would have been like Jared. Whoa. Yeah. So so, but that's clever on their part, right? You're yeah. doing all this stuff in DevNet. You then send it, but in your Phantom Wallet, like you are on Mainnet, so you're never gonna see that six soul hit because if you switch the network. You'd see it. <laughs> see? But you're right. So, I mean, it's, and, it's super. I mean, I again, this is terrible. I, it sucks. I feel bad. But it's really pretty clever. Yeah. No, Joe, this, this is why we're talking like, through this. Like, this is why people don't want to talk about this out loud. Because this is like, you got to break down these scams so people understand. Because crypto, like, I'm in this space. It's still confusing. I'm not super into Solana. So I think, like, that might have been, like, a little bit of this. But, yeah, um, man, talk about, like, I didn't know. Like I had no clue that I was on like a math wallet and DevNet and then great. No, no. And now here's like, let me have the address so you can, con- so wait, let me have the address you sent so I can confirm it. Brilliant. All right. So now they have my address again. If they didn't already get it from the math wallet test net, but now here's where like, okay, let me confirm. Oh, like, look at this. This isn't like this writing is totally. No, is it simple or hard? Quite easy. And here's the, now, here's where I was like super – like this is where I probably – like if I had been paying attention, really shouldn't have done this. But I thought, okay, so I have a burner. Now, Joe, I think – should we talk about now how like on – I have a phantom wallet, and I had multiple wallets in that phantom wallet. So I had kept one as like my wallet that nothing touches, and then there's wallet one, two, and three, which I kind of like used for burners and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So now here – but all four of those wallets got hit. Right. So this is, and I didn't know that could happen. Yeah. Literally. So I, I think this, but this, I can tell people that right now. Like, even if you have four wallets, if you're doing it all in the same phantom wallet. Yeah. It's all the same still seed one. phrase. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah like so the, the, different private keys, the same seed phrase. So you have to, I mean, you got to really be careful, but there's also something else that's really, I think they're playing on here with the Solana piece of it, of like the, you know, it says like you just check your status of the transaction that's on pending due to a glitch error. Yeah. And it's like like it's really weird wording. Like I think like yeah. you know, if you'd read it a few times carefully, you know, reading quickly, like you don't think anything of it. But yeah. also what it plays on is like Solana does have issues at times and it does have this history and it's, it's less now than it was like even over the summer. Yeah. But like there are glitches there are errors that come up more and so like when you see that it doesn't immediately throw a flag like i think if you saw that on near because of just the way it is and the way that transactions happen on near like you would have that you might have paused a little bit more 
I've been you like, know, ah, you know, here's here's what's interesting. I don't know if I would have because here's because okay. there's glitches all over Web3. Like we're building like the sure, there is, less. of course, yes. And also, you know how you said like that's phrase weird wording. So we speak with people globally. And mm. I really try not to say wording because people speak it like, you know, not every English is their first language. I actually yeah. thought like this didn't really read out like really bad English to me. Like I was like, oh, this like you know, there are some phrases, but nothing major, you know, and in six of the 10 chats, I'm speaking with people from other countries. Mm. And so like this is actually like like some places I'm like, wow, this isn't a scam, but this person's English really is, you know, and I, sure, I don't sure. I try not to judge that, you know. Mm. But in the future, I might be a little bit more like glitch error. I don't know. That, so now, that, that, that's the phrase that, that gets me is like glitch error. Like I'm like, I, I, I'm like what the, like, what's that? I should have done yeah. this with you, Joe. That's really what this is coming down to. And, and also in the future, I'm not going to do it again. So if you have a project, <laughs> I just want to be your tester. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll use it after other people test it, man. Ah, oh, man. And I was like, so like, man. So I, what's funny is I, I like, uh, if anybody ever wants to know how I talk with people, it's quite quite easy to scam me. Um, <laughs> all right. So then I tried and said air. And then, okay, so now here's where things, when that air popped up, I thought to myself, because I had to put in my, which phrase, Joe? There's two different ones on this long it, wall. They wanted this, it asked for the seed phrase. Seed phrase, not the. Uh, not the private key. Okay. So I think this is super important. Private key, seed phrase. On a phantom wallet, you have multiple wallets. If they get that seed phrase, all four, 10, 20 of those wallets are compromised. Yeah. Are compromised. Like FYI. And 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 so I, I think it's important too. Like, so the link that they sent you, so it's confusing. And again, if you're going fast and you're not and you're doing multiple things, it's easy to get mixed up in it because you know the the form like it looks kind of legit but there's there's something that really i think sticks out here and i don't know how your browser is set up but this is i think is something that is so important in web3 how people get caught so most modern browsers nowadays especially like if you're on like safari or things like that or chrome they kind of hide the url bar so you don't always see the full url sometimes or sometimes you don't see it at all um, based on how like your browser is set up. And so when you're on the site that they send you, if you're again, if you're going kind of quickly, you don't you you might not have caught what the URL said. Yeah. And so then when it shows the screen, it looks like wallet connect, which again is a legit service, a legit wallet. Is it? Okay. So yeah. I, cause it I was like, cool. So wallet connect is a real thing. It kind of looked like that page. So it becomes like a phishing page. But then, but if you then inspect it further, like you can start to see that it's not. And even in that screenshot up there, you can see this as something called jot form. Yeah. And and so it's like, oh shit, like this is not real. Yeah. But there's one step that when I looked at the URL that was in there, I went to it myself that I thought was really clever on the scammers part is that when you go to that website, there's a connect button like to connect your wallet, but it's not a real connect button. All it's going to, it's going to always show an error no matter what. Yeah. Like it doesn't actually prompt to check your wallet. It just immediately shows an error. And so for you, it, again, it kept the thing going because then it was <laughs> like, Oh, like there's an error. And you say to him, and he's like, Oh, okay. You know, that's okay. Like just go to this next thing. And it's like, it, it, it all perpetuated everything of like, Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, like we're on the right track. So there were definitely flags there that maybe you could have caught, but like, it's oh, yeah. so it, you have to, you, again, you'd have to be vigilant every step of the way because this is designed to catch you off guard where you feel comfortable, you're doing other things and everything yeah. else. And that's how you get caught. Exactly. And so anybody watching this, if you're still watching to this point, like I really, I never seen this scam. And I wonder now that it's out here, I hope a lot of people see how this scam went down. Yeah. Like, I'm just sharing it to the world. Like, hey, this is the scam, you know? Like, so hopefully this scam has to pivot or change because I don't want 10 other people to get hit with this. Right. And it, there's going to probably be other similar ones out there. And I think the biggest thing for people to learn 
from this is that like these are the type of scams that are also out there like not everything is like i go to a website i click a link and my wallet gets drained yeah mm -hmm. sure those happen all the time like there are wallet drainer sites all the time like i've i've gone to you know i've had discords get hacked and you know and for like a mint you go to the minting site and the minting site's really a wallet drainer mm -hmm. you know i've had that happen like it, it it's part of what goes on right now but this is more sophisticated and so this is again one of those ones where like you you just have to be on point all the way through because that's the thing. Now, the one last thing I would always say, even I think with a burner or whatever else, anytime something asks you for a seed phrase, probably the default should just always be no. <laughs> like Yeah, thank you. Like that, I, I mean, <sighs> yeah, I think it probably should just always be like, nah, I'm not putting my seed phrase, it's even with the burner. A, it was a rookie, it was a rookie move. Like I, this scam just caught me and like, I thought it was one thing and like, it had just been, it's like that perfect storm where like a week ago I was doing something similar to this for somebody else. Not as, mm -hmm. not as elaborate, but you know, just like a little bit playing around on, you know, things so that it didn't seem strange. And then man, here's what, here's how good they had me. I was like, Oh, and then I, I used the burner. So I was like, well done. You got a few soul and some old NFTs lesson learned. But then here's the thing that like blew my mind while it won drained. Then I was like, oh, a few, my wallet four. Luckily I didn't touch that. I go to it and boom, everything's gone. I was like, yeah. oh, whoa, wallet four. That's when I wrote back. I was like, oh, whoa. So you got me good. This is like a solid scam. I reached back out to him. I was like, hey, you want to come on the pod? <laughs> like, I, like, I'm guessing they didn't respond. Oh, they didn't respond. And then I, I uh, blocked him because I didn't want anybody to like look and be like, oh, Jared knows, you know, like, because it says who you're connected with. I don't want this. Like, yeah, to, yeah. like the more people they scam and keep it open, the more powerful their discord of Right, right. You know, right, it right. looks, but man, I like, dude. And then it, it, it drained a lot. It was pretty wild, man. So that's a scam, yeah. everybody. Um, I've now recently, I, I mean, I now have reset up a new ledger soul wallet, 100%. And I'm probably going to be a little bit slower now. I think my big key takeaways, Joe, are like moving slower. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to be the person I am and be helpful when I can, but I'm going to do more due diligence. Mm -hmm. I think. Is, is important and i might make up like a set of rules that i like have on my computer that every person who contacts me i follow these few sets of things just to make sure i don't yeah because you know the thing is i don't even really know him that well but i figured like eh, you know it's web three there's a lot of things like i barely know people and we we do stuff with them so yeah i again i, I don't think that piece of it was that weird right like again like, just because of who we are now again if we were just randos and crypto twitter and stuff like that that might have been felt more weird and that might have been an initial flag yeah. but again it, it just it, it this worked well so well because of the role that we play in the ecosystem you know that this is this was not out of the norm in any form yeah and then uh that other wallet all i really had were a bunch of skellies but i mean that's like a group that i like and man that was a wild day for that Discord. A bunch of people getting, <laughs> getting amazing. They, they, that scammer just floored everything. And just and people like, what's going on? These are awesome. And yeah, and I know some people are like, oh, I feel bad. I'm like, definitely don't feel bad. You know, like they aren't mine anymore. And some people have, in the community have definitely been doing some great stuff. And I appreciate all that. And sure. You know, I will, will I go back to where I was in that community? Sadly, I probably will not be able to collect that many because it's popping off. Talk about a week to get scammed, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Yeah, Joe. So that's, that's our, that's this. Is there anything else we want to say? Or should we just like, I, I, I'm just down to run this for people to see. Yeah. I, I think, I think I, I hope people do watch all the way through and see the different flags and, and I hope people do learn something, become more vigilant. And that's our goal with, you know, what we do with podcasts is to hopefully educate and alert people and, uh, it's a tough lesson, but uh, yeah. hopefully it leads to some good. Yeah, I definitely prefer educating without having to experience it so much. But <laughs> but I feel right. like now I can really discuss the the process of a wallet drain and how yeah. it feels and how it's just like, and and yeah. if it happens to you, man, it sucks. Yeah, it you feel shell. Yeah, you just feel so silly. That's like the thing that's like hardest. Like, and you know what's like? Yeah. You know what I thought right when all the skellies went? I was like, oh no. Annan's been trying to drop that floor so much and it's going to, oh man, like that was like my first thought was like, oh man, what a day to yeah. get, sorry guys. Like yeah, I know you were, right. you're pushing, then they're doing some pushes and it was like, also yeah. for people getting pushed, like great. A bunch of people joined Skelly's who got like rares for floor, under floor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
You know what? In the end, it built a stronger community, and that's what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, get a ledger. <laughs> yep, absolutely. And, absolutely. And, and live by it. All right. Joe, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for checking out. This is our Ready Layer One. We are a crypto podcast that focuses on the near ecosystem, but you know some other things come up and we talk about it, and we're here to educate. So I hope yes. we educated you. Um, you know, follow along. We, we're going to do a lot more stuff in 2023. It's going to be a good yeah, year. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. <laughs> Take care. Bye, Stay safe. Ready Layer One is provided for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. You should not make any decision, financial investment, trading, or otherwise based on any of the information presented in this podcast without undertaking independent due diligence and consultant and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.